I got interested when my friend was actually getting into K-pop and she was playing it so often that I started um, liking the music and eventually I started getting into it as well. My friend got me into K-pop because like I was kind of curious at first. Like she said I needed something more upbeat in my life other than listening to alternative rock. My sister actually involved me when I was in fourth grade. Like I, I kind of just went to school and then she started listening to like the legendaries like Shinwa, Baby Vox one time. My friends took me, made me get into K-pop because they were always like, oh, these guys are cute. I first found about, out about K-pop when my friends were watching it at a sleepover and I didn't know what it was and then I looked it up when I got home and I really liked it, so I kind of got hooked. Actually, it happened by accident. I was like oh, going through the channels on TV. When you live in Korea or stay in Korea, there's only one type of music there to listen to, and that's K-pop. After listening to it for a long enough time, you eventually begin to like it. I was just like, what? Who? who is that? Who is that girl? And then I was like, I had to do research, and then I found out she's from K-pop. I was like, what is K-pop? So then I started listening to it, and I was like, this music's pretty good. I like it. Okay, what attracts me to K-pop is the heart. Um, how the individuals have to be well-rounded beings, and that every ounce of their life is put on display, and they're um, they're showing what it's important to them and they are communicating that very clearly with their audiences. It sounds like the original music from here, but it has its own little twist to it. The hair, just the, the whole style of K-pop and it just I just find it really, really fresh and exciting. Lots of different beats and lots of different styles. It's not necessarily one genre, it incorporates everything from a lot of genres. K-pop lyrics are very I'm much cleaner than our song now. It's really enjoyable to listen to every day. Most of the songs are very upbeat, and if I'm having a bad day, then I can just listen to it, and I can feel better. Like, they have dances, and then it's all poppy and happy, and you can follow them too and act like you're in a music video sometimes. Growing up, I was, I was always the shadow of my brother and sister because of the music that they liked and their academics, and so K-pop kind of, it, secluded me from them and so I was my own person and I could just create my own path from there. It's the music, I mean music videos, it's, yeah music. Uh, I actually went to Koreatown for my birthday so. Recently I began to like Psy because of, of his Gangnam Style video but I also like Girls Generation, they're very good too. I would have to choose Sista Hyorin. I love her vocal range. I gotta say Kim Hyuna, cause, well, <laughs> I really enjoy BAP because their image is really unique, and I just like the way their music is. My favorite group is Tiara because of their hard work. My favorite K-pop artist is After School, mostly because they had a member in After School that was from Hawaii. My favorite singer is Ayu because her voice is just very distinct. It's really different from other singers. I'd have to say So Teji is my favorite artist. Um, he's well known as the king of pop culture in Korea. Like in YG, there's like Gummy and Seven, you know, they were big people at some points and they still are. I'd obviously pick Sundara Park. <laughs> That was my dream ever since I was a little girl. It was like something like made me feel like I could be myself and just a way to express how I feel. In the future, I would want to become a K-pop star because it's very different from other celebrities in the US. I think that it would be fun to um, sing and act and be a model. I like the industry better than the American industry because you can actually perform live and have your fans actually cheer you on. Unlike in the American industry where you, you, do, you can't go on a show really on live and perform and get close to your fans. When I was young, I've always liked singing, but it wasn't until my ninth grade year that I decided to go into K-pop because of my friends. For to show the world that it's not like bad to be different, 
that you can have your, your own unique style? It would be a lot of hard work, but it would be definitely well worth it by um, just like having a good time and like performing is something I really like to do. Per personally, I like and performing and um, when I was a little kid, I always looked up to like singers like Britney Spears. I've had the, or I have the dream of being a Korean entertainer and being a K-pop star. So I think that's something that will really push me to try and be one. It's just because I like singing so much. And <laughs> I would have to say, I think my personality, my outgoing personality, I think it's really good to be like that if you're in a group. I think I'm outgoing and also my style is, you know, original, unique. So like, I'm shy right now, but I think that if I go on that stage, I can like become another person. Well, I'm Filipino, and I guess if they're looking for a um, new kind of talent, I guess I could be one of them. My hair color is very original. Like, it's something that you don't see on a lot of people.